The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Hello, I'm Jeremy Boychin, Agronomy Research Extension Manager with the Alberta Wheat and Alberta Barley Commissions, and we are back for another episode of Wheat School with realagriculture.com, and we are here to talk about PGR decisions. So this is a decision that's coming up every year now. Should I be using PGRs? Am I in a situation where PGRs are gonna be beneficial? And there's a few things we can think about to help make this decision. Five factors that I want you to put in your notebook to help make this decision to make sure that when you're applying a PGR, you're getting the most out of it. First off is what is the yield expectation of that crop? If you're headed in the 60, 70, 80 plus bushel range, that is the area where you're typically going to see more opportunity for lodging and a PGR is going to be more beneficial. Secondly, we want to talk about history of that field. Does that field typically see lodging on it more years than not? If you're not seeing lodging on that field typically, maybe it's not the best place to spend your money. The third factor we want to talk about is variety selection. Each variety, first off, is going to respond differently to a PGR. So depending on your variety, you may have more or less response to a PGR application than a different variety. So just because you've seen response from one variety does not mean you'll see that same response from a different variety. So it's important to have strips and checks when you're using PGRs on new variety where you don't know if you're gonna get a response. And the other factor to look at is what is the actual lodging rating of that variety? Each variety is gonna have a different lodging rating. If you look at your provincial seed guide, you will find the rating for that variety in there. If you're poor, fair, or good, and depending on where you are in the province and the pressure that you have of lodging on your crop and in your fields, is gonna depend on what those ratings mean to you. Because in one region where we have high pressure of lodging, a, a variety rated G may, still may see lodging, but in another part of the province or another part of Western Canada, that G may be good enough to mitigate lodging in that scenario. So you're gonna to have to look closely and relate that back to what you've seen historically. And then the fourth thing we wanna look at is how much rain we've actually received in May and then into June. Typically that PGR timing is right now, right at the beginning of June. We're getting into that four to six leaf staging. We're getting in that growth stage 30 to 32, splitting those stems. We've taken a look. We know that timing is appropriate. Have we got the moisture to attain that yield potential we've been targeting on that crop? That's a huge question because if we haven't got it, we're not going to see that yield come around and we're likely not going to see as much lodging or any lodging on that crop if we're not meeting that yield potential or close to that yield potential. So we have to remember how much water do we need for our wheat crop. So in general, what we've seen, four to five inches of rain is going to get us to complete our vegetative phase of wheat. So if you know in your soil and your rainfall you've met that, then every additional inch of rain above and beyond that four to five inches is going to give you about five to eight, five to seven of additional uh, bushels uh, per, per inch of rain. So every inch, another five, give or take bushels on top of that. So keeping that in mind, how much rainfall have you received? What is your yield potential? What have you fertilized for? Um, this is gonna help get an idea of, are you reaching that yield potential? So which variety are we using? Um, what rainfall conditions are we dealing with? Um, and where are we at in terms of environmental conditions? Environmental conditions are gonna play a huge role in this decision as well, because PGRs are a uh, synthetic hormone. So when we spray this on the crop, it is acting in many ways on that crop, not just lodging. And it may affect a variety of different things and it's affecting how that plant is growing. So if there's any additional stress that's happening to that crop, such as heat, such as frost, such as drought, it's going to add additional stress on that crop when you apply that PGR. And this can bring about quite a few challenges and we saw this in 2021 when we had our heat dome we had our drought stress uh, scenario where we applied pgr sometimes in cases where we shouldn't have been applying a pgr 
uh, and it had severe effects on our yield and on the development of those crops. So we really need to think about, have we seen stress recently as we're about to apply a PGR? And typically that question is, are we in drought conditions? Do we think that crop is stressed right now? Uh, have we seen frost conditions? Um, and generally it's been pretty warm this May, so maybe not a lot of situations where we have, but if you're getting close to that zero degree Celsius within about five days of application, that can add added stress. And then after that, are we expecting to see really high temperatures? Right now it's supposed to be 29 degrees in Alberta. It's gonna be hot. Spraying a PGR on this day could add additional stress onto that crop if you already are in low moisture conditions and maybe if you've already applied uh, a relatively hot herbicide relative close to that timing so you may be putting an additional stress on that crop so when we consider all of these factors when we consider what's our yield potential what's our variety how much rainfall do we have are we fertilizing for it and which environmental conditions are we dealing with right now if we take all of those into consideration and we're looking like we're getting to that yield potential we have that rain the variety is likely to lodge in high conditions and we're not seeing stress environmentally then we're good to go outside of that we really need to be cautious about applying a pgr and maybe take take a step back and ask the question of is this really beneficial am i going to get my money back or is this going to add additional stress to my crop so good luck <laughs>